I want to ask you an, a question. What was the first fitna the Muslim Ummah ever faced after the death of the Prophet Think before you answer. I know you're going to jump somewhere, but think before you answer. Okay. So, the death of the Prophet ﷺ was the fitna. Right? How some of the companions reacted to his death. Imagine Umar, with his knowledge, took a sword and he said, whoever utters that statement that the Prophet ﷺ died, I would what? Anas narrates a hadith that many of the companions sat down so chilling, so peaceful. Birds could land on their heads because of how peaceful they are. Shocked, in a state of shock. Who restored this ummah back with the same principle? Although we're talking about who? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah. Whoever worships Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is how he understood the verse. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is dead. And whoever worships Allah, Allah is what? Ever living. And he recited the verse. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ رُسُولٌ This is a, an, a profound example that this religion is not about individuals. And do you know when this verse was revealed? When this verse was revealed? Eight years ago. And look at Abu Bakr, how he associated the reason behind the revelation of this verse with the present situation the Ummah is facing. This verse was revealed when a rumor circulated in the battleground that the Prophet ﷺ was killed in the Battle of Uhud. So some of the companions did what? Deserted the battlefield. All the Prophets before him have passed away without fail, without exception. This is a categorical statement which leaves no room for exception. Because if even there is a suggestion of an exception, then the argument would collapse. The argument can only be varied in totality. Re-imagine the situation. People are talking about the death of Aan Salam and are claiming that because he has died, so he could not be a true prophet. The answer is, he is a prophet and no more than a prophet. As far as the fates of the earlier prophets are, is concerned, all of, them have, all of them have passed away. None is alive. Not to leave no room for any other suggestion. The Holy Quran further explains the meaning of khala, the word khala. Because there would be many mullahs born in the future who despite this very total and positive assertion of the Quran would try to wriggle out of this situation and claim that Jesus Christ is still an exception. He is not died. So that is why the Holy Quran is very firm and round and would not let anybody escape and run away with a false idea. So it says, Afaim Mata O Kutila. As a consequence of Khala, if he dies a natural death or is being is murdered, An Khalaptum Allah Khabikum, 
will you have a right to turn back on your feet? So the situation demands that the emphasis should be considered to be on irtidat, renegation, turning back to one's old faith. Now the question is, now this, this, this uh, statement is now developed into this full argument. Because Muhammad was, وسلم, was no more than a prophet, because all prophets before him, without fail, without exception, have passed away, so Prophet Muhammad also is liable to pass away in two ways only through by natural death or by murder. There is no third way suggested. So that means khala covers only two possibilities. The manner of khala, how would it be? Have they passed away by vacating the world bodily, like they claim Jesus did, or by some other means? The Holy Quran specifies the translation of the khala by suggesting only two means either natural death or murder, no third way. And now when you look back at the history of the prophets, this is exactly what happened to them. So there is no room whatsoever for any sensible and honest man to continue to believe in Jesus' life after the revelation of this verse. Before this was revealed, he must have passed away. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video. Also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Allah, the Allah,